Hey everyone, uh, this is Tyler. I am the co-founder of the YouTube channel with Matt Swirk. And um, today I am, actually this weekend, I am heading to Vermont. So we decided I would, even though we're a Massachusetts focused channel, living in Massachusetts, since Vermont is part of New England and this is, we're all kind of one thing. Um, today, this weekend, we're gonna record all about uh, vacationing in Vermont. If you're planning on moving to Vermont, this is gonna give you a taste of what it's like, uh, at least in downtown Burlington, that area. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned and looking forward to, um, to showing you more. Oh, yes, right. Uh, definitely subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you've ever been to Vermont and have any suggestions for our next trip. Um, you know, and of course, um, if you feel if you feel like you want to reach out about living in New England at all, any part of New England, please reach out. Smoke signals, carrier pigeon, whatever it takes, uh, or just send us an email. Um, we're happy to, to help point you in the right direction, kind of get you started on some things when it comes to relocating here. So when it comes to Massachusetts and Vermont, we always get you back. Our first step, so we are actually heading to Salt and Sand Studios in, uh, oh geez, where is it? In Warren. Salt and Sand Studios in Warren. All right, if you want to see what driving on some of the back roads of Vermont is like, this is a very good example. Really windy, um, you know, two lane, just one lane on each side, uh, snowy mountains, and it's really pretty. So we, we've been enjoying the drive. The only thing is, if it was snowing, worse here, or if it was, if, if there was ice on the ground, or like a significant, significant snowfall, this would be very treacherous. These. Uh, We've been up so many hills and we've been winding around and actually I just heard the car hit a little bit of ice there so definitely a little dangerous but definitely a, little, a lot of it pretty. All right so we're parking we're getting close we're, uh, we're here salt and sand look at that house cool color love it love it love it. I'm here in the studio about to take my class it's gorgeous stained glass made right here real glass I'm very excited for this, so I'll uh, report afterwards. All right, so I'm here in Salt and Sand, Sand Studios, and there's actually a glass blowing class going on uh, right a little bit up the way, just up the pathway. Uh, we're not going to stop in there today, but just know that they do amazing glass blowing work and also teach classes. So that's that's also an option when you come here, and. I'm in the yoga space, so we just did a, uh, a practice and it was fantastic. And come check out the way this looks. It is beautiful in here. So you have a nice practice space, perfect lighting. You get your own space, which is really nice. They actually have three different pods. So if you come here to practice and you've always felt insecure for whatever reason, you actually get your own private practice space, which can be nice, especially when you're like me and you're groaning with your broken toe. Um, so it's kind of nice. They do classes here. I will definitely post the schedule. It will appear on the screen while I'm talking about this. Um, and yeah, this is just a fantastic place to come. All right, just finished up. What a great class. Just gonna take a quick, the glass blowing studio is right over there. This is actually a house. Down there is the, studio, the yoga studio, and uh, yeah, what a fantastic time. So beautiful, beautiful site here, plenty of parking. Bring a friend. Now we're gonna go to Lawson's Finest Liquids, a brewery, so stay tuned. All right, so we just took a right onto the road. We are almost at Lawson's Finest Liquids. Uh, which is a very funny name, but that's the name of the brewery. And actually, you can see it right up here to the left. <laughs> looks like so cool. Look at that, it looks so cool. <laughs> wow. Look at the mascot. So we're going in, we're doing the tap room, which is right there. This is a really nifty place. I just said nifty, that's right. And if you've ever had Sip of Sunshine or Little Sip, you know exactly what this place is. They have great beer. And I like that little mascot of the man. It kind of looks like my father-in-law. So uh, their mascot sort of looks like Phil. Shout out to Phil. Love that dude. Um, that's obviously where they brew the beer or they hold the beer. All right, so we just finished in there. Uh, I have some pictures. I have like three pictures. Uh, 
Gorgeous. So apologies. It was really nice. We didn't warm, cozy. Warm, cozy. We didn't I didn't do a good job getting photos, so I apologize. I was just in the moment, living my life. But you know what? I have to sacrifice that for this YouTube channel. Where I'm gonna sacrifice living in the moment for you guys. So we're in Shelburne right now. We just actually walked out of a wine store. I swear we don't just all, always drink alcohol. It's not our only hobby. However, when you see a good wine store, you gotta stop in. This- Especially if they say they're having wine tastings. Yeah, so we're wine tasting, so we got a lot of uh, glasses for free. Village Wine and Coffee, stop by if you're in Shelburne. Highly recommended. And uh, yeah, next stop, the Airbnb. So we just arrived to our Airbnb. Just arrived to our Airbnb. Got the car parked, we're doing well. There's a house there. This is our unit, we got unit two. That's the street we're on. I wish I had took in a, taken a video. Uh, the video, it's a, uh, or the house, it's in a nice location. Seems really close to like a bunch of shops. Downtown's right over there. Let's take a tour real quick. Boom. All right. So we're here, bathroom's in there, stackable washer dryer. Not allowed to see the bathroom, my wife's in there. Yes, she goes to the bathroom sometimes. Bottle of wine waiting for us at our B Airbnb. Very nice touch, love that. Um, nice little sitting room here. We have like a fridge, kitchen, and then like just kind of a place to sit down, I guess. One thing that's really cool is there's an office over here so you can actually sit down and like have your, you work if you want to while you're on vacation. We actually have um, in our Cape house, we have a Mitsubishi electric mini split just like this. These things are awesome. So. I don't want to do too much real estate here because we usually are like more lifestyle where it's like living places. But I have to say, if you're thinking about upgrading your heating system and cooling system, the mini splits are really effective. If you have like a smaller house, um, you can get it with like two of them and it can like heat an entire 1,000 square foot, you know, uh, house or condo or whatever you have. Um, three if you want, 1,500, et cetera. But these mini splits are sweet because they are pretty efficient in terms of like the energy cost. In our Cape house, we probably spend about $100 to $120 to heat and cool our place. This place is sweet. So anyways, this is our little place for the, uh, the weekend. We're gonna explore downtown Burlington. I'm gonna bring you with me, so don't worry. I'm not sleeping on you. But anyways, this is a cool little Airbnb and this is what we'll be staying. And how do you feel about it? Love it. So we're here in Burlington. We're walking around. How do you feel? Feeling great and cold. Feeling great and cold. I got a throw up hat on. I don't know if you noticed this. It's a throw up hat. It's a, it's a long story. It's a surf company actually called Sick Day. In Wellfleet. Represent. They're in Wellfleet. They're amazing. They hired my brother in law years ago and uh, they sell surfboards. So if you ever want a surfboard or a throw up hat, Sick Day. Anyways, we're in Burlington. We're walking around. Um, our coffee. Airbnb is like close to everything. So we have like a coffee place right there. Burlington has a ton of coffee, a ton of restaurants, a ton of drinking. That's kind of what they do. So if you want to check out Burlington for a vacation spot, you better like one of those three things. You better like food, alcohol, or coffee. Luckily, that pretty much covers like most of what we like as humans. I feel like, I feel like, I don't know. I like and all also, three. And also hiking. Hiking. We'll be doing that tomorrow. I have a dumb friend who went here with his girlfriend and they didn't go to any restaurants. They didn't go to any breweries. All they did was hike and I just, you know, I called him up just now and made fun of him. And so we got some cool like artsy shops over here. Seems like a lot of the building and architecture is pretty, pretty nifty. Not as old as New England or as Massachusetts architecture. Like in Massachusetts, you'll see a building and you'll be like, oh, that's definitely from the 1700s. And sure enough, like in Concord, it is from the 1700s. Around here, it's like, yeah, a lot of these buildings were probably made, maybe some of them in the 1700s, but a lot in the late 1800s, some in the 1900s. There's a lot of newer architecture here compared to what we're used to in Massachusetts. All right, so this is definitely not my vibe exactly. I will say I'm excited for it still. My wife likes cider a lot. I do. And um, I'm more of a beer wine guy, specifically wine. I'm gonna become a sommelier this year. Uh, I'm gonna actually start a new YouTube channel specifically on my journey to become a sommelier. So get, get tuned in for that. I'll put a description. It's not created yet. So someday down the road, I'll, I'll make a description and put an announcement. Anyways, we're here. At this Insider, here it is. And uh, let's take a look inside. Ooh. 
so I forgot to vlog outside of the restaurant. I'm sorry, Martha. It's okay. You sure? Yeah. Um, fantastic meal. We have leftovers. Always good. Oh, we bought good. the menu. Pretty much appetizers, three course drinks, food. It was fantastic. So no if you dessert. no dessert, no dessert. We couldn't do the dessert. Beautiful. If you're in Vermont, Burlington, Vermont, do uh oh hey, I didn't get hit on the on camera. Do Hen of the Woods. Hen of the Wood. Fantastic restaurant. We had a great meal. Um, I'm gonna put some pictures in right here and uh, enjoy the way they looked. You can see some of the meals. I took pictures of our food like a vlogger does. And uh, now we're on our way back to our Airbnb. We're gonna go out again tonight, so. One thing that Burlington does very well is actually coffee. So um, they have a ton of different coffee shops. Like there's like seven awesome coffee shops in the area uh, within walking distance from us. Um, in my opinion, what quantifies fantastic coffee, not to sound too snobby, but uh, generally like craft coffee is gonna be considered like either roasted there on site, which is always gonna be a superior taste because it's as fresh as possible. Basically the company will get green beans, which are literally like green coffee beans and they roast them there. And uh, that takes a lot of skill in itself. Um, or even if they don't roast it there on site, that they get like fresh coffee from a uh, you know, distributor. Um, good coffee generally can be quantified by um, a certain type called single origin. What single origin is, is basically that the beans are grown all from the same place. It can get very specific. So um, I've had some coffee from Nicaragua before that's grown from the same exact farm. And um, you know, on the back of the bag, you, they, sh they tell you about their process and teaching their farmers how to pick the best coffee beans. Um, and it's just, it's incredible. So you can get really specific with this, but single origin coffee, that's what we're gonna be hunting today. Um, really, I'm cool with anything. I really like Ethiopian. I like uh, Nicaragua. South America and Africa technically have the, the best coffee. Um, well, generally, if you're just gonna take a shot in the dark, you want something from South America, uh, Central America, or, um, or from Africa. And the reason why is because of the, the hilliness of the region. So good coffee is grown on a hill or at an incline. You need a certain level altitude to grow the coffee to, to be as flavorful and, uh, and as potent as you'd like. Uh, however, I will say in Sumatra and some of those regions, there's also some fantastic coffee as well. So um, anyways, we're gonna go, let's go coffee hunting. All right, I can confirm. If you want a good coffee scene, Burlington, Vermont definitely has it. So if you love coffee, if you're looking for a fantastic, vibrant coffee scene with different shops all around. I mean, I literally, I had a coffee shop one minute away from me where I was staying and then they were closed. And then four minutes away from there, all walking by the way, I was able to walk to another coffee shop. And then there's more up the road that are like seven minutes away walking. So literally within a 10 minute walk, any direction, you have like about seven different coffee shops. Um, and one I just went to was fantastic. I mean, I had, I got an espresso and then I also got a coffee. All right, I'm in downtown Burlington right now. Like really downtown. We are in downtown Burlington right now. Yes, we are. Um, this is like crazy. There's so much to do. Tons of different shops and everything. Um, performing arts centers over there. I see a movie theater. Um, just walking through the main common area. Uh, it's really pretty here. So we're actually walking to breakfast. If I sound like I'm out of breath, it's just cause it's so freezing. It's really cold. Um, so if you don't like the cold, stay away from Vermont, especially in the winter. But if you can get over the cold, it's totally worth coming here in the winter. It's beautiful. And uh, yeah, oh, I did want to show one thing. So this is the church street market it's like right here to the left and uh, it's a very famous spot in burlington uh, outdoor market tons to do and this whole area there's a lot to do but it is right down here church street market Empty in the <laughs> not a lot going on <laughs> yeah not a lot going on right now oh, but it's pretty
All right, so here we are. We're gonna get brunch at the Gray J. Hopefully, probably is pretty crowded. Um, oh my god! Sorry, I have like snot just pouring down my face from how cold it is. So you just gotta sniff, you know. You just gotta sniff. Anyways, we're here. We're almost here at Gray J. We made the walk. We survived, and uh, we're gonna go in now and check out some of the dishes. So I'll take some pictures and put them right here and you can see how good this breakfast looks. Oh. All right, I didn't even film a video after we had brunch. Uh, the pictures, I hope they came out good. You can see what the place looks like. You can see some of our brunch items. It was a Turkish brunch place, so uh, a lot of things like falafel. I had chicken forma, it was great. Now we are walking. <laughs> now we're walking to more beer. Um, so we're actually going to another brewery. Might stop and get coffee on the way. I don't know, feeling cute. Decided to take a pic. Um, it's still freezing. It's still so cold, but that's that's what it's like living here. So um, Yeah, if you're thinking about living in Vermont definitely buy a lot of clothes like that. You got to look like a little bundled up snow woman So we're actually walking to a different part of Burlington altogether We are kind of like closer to the northern part of Burlington part of the city. We're actually walking to the south southern part of the city. It's about a 20 minute walk um, which in the cold feels longer, but honestly, it's not that bad right now. We're moving pretty well. She's pumping her arms, keeps her warm. Uh, but I'll put it on the map where the southern part of the city is so you can see what it kind of looks like the difference. Um, so far, it's pretty cool. We passed like four coffee shops. We'll go on another one. Um, so it's definitely a common theme. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's that. Oh, well, thank you. Huh. Allow me. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god. What? Uh, I don't know why I said the what. I don't know why I said the what. Oh no, we can say it. I don't know. We're blocked. Ooh, it's good. Price looks good. Thanks. Me too. We just went to zero gravity. The inside space was beautiful. They had a pool table. I think actually I got footage of it. Hopefully that works out. Um, so you get to see it. We just stopped for one beer and now we're walking another 10 minutes, half mile. Um, it was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't amazing. I'm a, I'm a beer snob. So like their beers are fine. They're just not great. And uh, in Vermont, the land of great beer, I want great beer. So we're heading to Burlington Brewing Company, which I know I like some of their stuff. Let's see what it looks like. Here we go. Burlington Beer Co. That's a cool door. I like the door already. Ooh, we got merch. This place looks sick. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness, so cold, so cold. So chilly. Hey, how you doing? Good things, how are you? I'm so cold. But aside from that, I'm good. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm from Massachusetts. Here, yeah, so. it's warm in here, right? And we have beer, so. That's right. Do you live in Vermont year round? I do, yeah. It's cold up here. Yeah, it is. I'm from Massachusetts and it's cold down there, but it's colder up here. Yeah, and right on well, the lake too. Right on the lake, that's true. Yeah. But it's lovely, I gotta say. All right, that sounds good. Thanks again, appreciate it. We can just sit right here. Yeah, we can sit right here, that's fine. Oh, look at that, the barrels over there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what? They got the menu right there. I'm here in Burlington Beer Company. It's dope. We're having a great time. Hard kombucha. My wife. Neat. Amazing beer. Barrels. 
A lot of taps. You gotta check this place out if you're in Burlington, Vermont. Yeah. Would you say? Oh yeah. And the restaurant was amazing. Chicken wings were awesome. Pretzel bites. Pretzel bites, good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Come here, check this out. I am here with my... Wife. <laughs> I'm married! I am! Anyways, we just went to Burlington Beer Company. That place is freaking amazing. You gotta, you gotta go to Burlington Beer Company if you're in Vermont. If you go to Burlington, Vermont, and you don't go to Burlington Beer Company, I swear to God, I'm gonna be so mad. No, I'm just kidding. Where we are right now is definitely more reserved, a little quieter. Where we're staying at our Airbnb is a little more, it's called, considered uptown. And uptown Burlington is busier, it's more of the downtown area. A lot more going on. So if you're in Burlington, keep that in mind. If you're staying, if you're looking for a place to stay, or you're looking to buy a house or whatever, or buy a condo, up north is gonna be a little bit busier, a little more going on. You're closer to the restaurants, closer to a lot of things. But the south side is a little quieter, and you can kind of see it. It's a lot of industrial stuff, and uh, just kind of not a lot of traffic. If you're looking for something a little more outside of the city, down south, south of Burlington, definitely your place to go. So we walked about um, 20 feet and there's another brewery. Switchback Ales is right there. Again, apologize for the wind noise. Look at these ducks. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I kind of just want to be a duck. Look at them. They're warm somehow. I don't know how they're warm. I think it's a grease or whatever. I don't know. They're floating. Lake Champlain at its finest. There's Burlington right over there. Again, apologize for the wind noise, guys. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Anyways, we're in Burlington. Lake Champlain. Definitely deep. Look how gorgeous it is. Right here, I'm not sure what this is. This is some kind of pagan ritual. Pretty sure they sacrifice people in the middle of that stone. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so we're on a bike path right next to Lake Champlain. And, a and uh, what? Railway. And a railway, right next to a railway. And uh, basically this is gonna get us back to our Airbnb in 20 minutes, walking all back roads, no streets, no cars. Kinda nice, so definitely good uh, options for, for walkers and bikers. Yeah, so kind of nice. Um, if you don't feel like driving, you don't have to. I haven't used my car in two days. I will say though, the site, we're still walking on this. I feel like I've been walking for forever because I'm like, like my hands, like look at this. Isn't that gross? Guys, look at that. My hands do not look like that normally. We just stopped by right here. Beautiful little like, just stop from the bike trail. Take a look at this, guys. Martha? Scale 1 to 10, how pretty is it right now? It's pretty much a 9.8. If you're coming from California, if you're coming from the West Coast, Arizona, down South, Georgia, and you're coming to Vermont to like visit in the winter, I hope you're ready. Because Massachusetts is cold in the winter, all right? We have like, you know, our ponds freeze. We see snow every year. That being said, this is another level of cold that we don't get in Massachusetts. Um, we just found out that Poco, a restaurant that we're planning on going to tonight, is not open on Sundays. So uh, we're gonna have to do some like last minute scrounging for restaurants, but there's so much around here. How do you feel? Do you feel confident? I feel confident. You feel confident. So we'll figure out something. Okay, so foam brewery right here. Let's find out what it looks like. Looks like it'd be nice in the outdoors in the, in the summer. Service dogs only. Getting pizza tonight. Kind of figured it out. 
She's looking at the menu right now. What do you think? She doesn't look too happy about the menu yet. But right now, she is running, literally dragging me over closer to Lake Champlain, because look at that. I mean, it's, I, I do have to say, she's right on one circumstance. It is completely beautiful over there. And she's like, I need to see the sun set over those cliffs right there. So here we are. What a rough morning. Not gonna lie to you. Might have had a little too much fun at the brewery last night. A little bit rough this morning. We're okay. Uh, we are okay. Uh, but we're heading out, packing the car right now. Very, always kind of a bittersweet moment. Um, you know, finishing the vacation up, but we had a great time in Vermont. Wow, so cool, so fun. Wow, amaze. All right, everyone, as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, Matt really appreciates you guys. Thanks for checking out the channel. I hope my trip to Vermont was somewhat enlightening. Uh, you know, normally when we talk about Massachusetts, we both lived here our entire lives. We know about a lot of places. We actually have some in-depth knowledge. Burlington for me was first time, so it was very much like, oh, look at this, check that out. So a little less informative than what I usually shoot for. That being said, I think you got to get a good view of the city. That's what I was hoping for, like a good walking tour. We actually didn't drive our car the entire time. We just walked all around. So um, a lot of the footage that you see is just us walking from the north side of Burlington down south across Lake Champlain, not across, but uh, around Lake Champlain. And so, uh, yeah. If you, uh, if you like the video, please leave a, a comment, thumbs up, you know, let, let me know if I missed anything in Vermont that you would recommend. Um, and it, subscribe to the channel. If you guys ever need anything in terms of connecting with, uh, you know, someone from Vermont that can help you move, we have a network out there actually in all over New England. So uh, reach out, smoke signals, you know, email, phone, carrier pigeon, um, tie a note to a dog and have the dog run over and uh, deliver the message. Uh, she's ready to do that. Anyways, thank you so much. Thanks for watching and see you next time.